What's going on guys, Shadow here, and today we are talking about an arc build for the Warlock class. Yes, I'm actually talking about a class, not the Titan. The reason for that is because it is Solstice of Heroes, and I am trying to get my stats up with my other classes, specifically Warlocks and Hunters. For some reason, this is the only activity or at least event in Destiny history that has any viability towards the game itself, because you can farm and rekindle armor for stats of your choice. For the most part, there is still RNG tied to it, but again, this is the best opportunity to farm armor, and I recommend you guys do that on some of your classes that are lacking some armor and some good stats. So with that out the way, let's talk about this Warlock build. First of all, it is Arc. Second of all, it is amazing. And third of all, the end game viability is still up in the air. When I mean end game viability, I'm just talking specifically about those master and grandmaster nightfalls. The reason for that is because one, I haven't checked this out in that activity, you know, for me, getting a Grandmaster or Master crew together is kind of hard because sometimes people don't care about those activities like I do or like some of us do. So there's still question marks tied to that. I certainly will recommend a switching a couple of the Fragrance and maybe a Loadout for a more champion suitable setup. But besides that, I can see how this can translate pretty damn well in those activities. But just got to get that caveat out there so you guys understand going forward. Now we are rocking double specials. There is another caveat here. If you guys want to rock an SMG or an auto rifle in that kinetic slot, then be my guest. But for this sake, we're going to be rocking double special and it's pretty catered towards that. Um, finishers will be your friend. You'll be seeing some of that stuff in this build highlight. But yeah, let's jump right into the build and showcase all the juicy stuff. So here we are Um, my drip for my warlock. Still a work in progress. I barely play this guy, so he looks OK. Now, some main takeaways here is going to be the Crown of Tempest exotic helmet and the Cold Hearts exotic trace rifle. Both of these are vanilla D2 exotic. So Falling Sunstar is an option. I just don't have it. Uh, the reason why I like this a little bit more is it's pretty much the heart of inmost light for your warlock class, as well as effective. Look at these spikes in stats. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is pretty great. Honestly, it's remarkable, incredible, and kind of the main reason I went with this exotic. Also, the fact I don't have Falling Sunstar, so there's that. And then I've been trying to rock a little bit more of the Trace Rifles. Uh, Cold Heart is Arc, and it is incredible. The exotic trait is Cold Fusion. This weapon shoots a steady Cold Fusion powered Arc laser, dealing more damage the longer it remains on target. So this is great in anything. Also, it's overload for this season. Now back onto our build. Let's jump into arc and talk about some of the aspects and fragments. We have electrostatic mind defeating targets with arc abilities or defeating jolted or blinded targets creates an ionic trace. This is pretty important because these ionic traces obviously make amplified and a lot of our activities, a lot of our play style is going to be spamming our abilities, defeating jolted and blinded targets. Blinding is a pretty underrated trait to the arc subclass that honestly the warlock gets a lot out of. Now we have arc soul because obviously this is your best friend, you know, casting your rift to create an arc soul that fires at targets in front of you. Allies can pass through your arc rift to get an arc soul. Your rift charges faster when allies are near. While amplified, your arc souls are supercharged and gain increased fire rate. This is incredible this is probably the best thing in the game in terms of like having a friend using your class ability and get rewarded for it it's pretty damn good now let's jump into some of the fragments uh for these fragments are pretty much what you'll be seeing in the gameplay but there is a few flexibilities we'll talk about that in order as they come up so first off we have spark of beacons while you are amplified your arc special weapon final blows create a blinding explosion the reason this is so powerful is because we have a arc special weapon as our primary weapon and that is the cold heart so you'll be doing some blinding with with your weapon especially when you're amplified next to this may seem a little bit of the overkill side but i like it a lot so we're using spark of brilliance defeating a blinded target with precision damage creates a blinding explosion so it doesn't require to be amplified but it does cause that a blinding explosion that you want and uh with spark of beacons while amplified your you know your final blows are creating blinding this is a great way of stacking that blinding effect on top of the other fragment while you're amplified it's really overkill it's amazing and it does a lot of great work to control those very dense add areas that you can be coming upon in certain pv activities spark a shock to make our storm grenade even better so basically your arc grenades will jolt targets and then we have spark of amplitude rapidly defeating targets while you are amplified creates an orb of power this 
is pretty important because we need orbs in order to get more special ammo because we're using special finisher but more on that when we jump into some of that stuff again i mentioned it before i didn't get into it storm grenades are going to be our grenade of choice but if you guys want pulse grenade be my guest this is another great grenade i love it as well now we'll jump into our armor mods we're using an arc siphon hands on and another arc siphon hands on basically will gain super energy on melee kills this will help us with our chaos reach super which are which is our super of choice here we have firepower for you know our grenade final blows creates orbs of power and then we have heavy handed your powered melee final blows create orbs of power just because they're pretty essential for what we need with special finisher now we have charge up to extend the maximum armor charges right now without this it's at three this becomes now to four which is pretty awesome to stack we have arc reserves to give ourselves more ammo now for our legs we're rocking two arc weapon surges and stack on stack so basically when i pick up orbit power i'm gonna get an additional armor charge which will count as two this is great for completely spamming my armor charges with finishers and getting the most out of my loadout now what's pretty important if you're going to be rocking all these orbs of power is special finisher and since we have double primaries we need this to get more ammo consistently this is amazing it consumes three armor charges however so that's why a lot of stack on stacks armor charges is pretty important because we want to maximize and continually use finishers to get more ammo to keep on blinding to keep on spamming and then obviously time of dilation can extend the duration of that armor charge timer so with our loadout we're using double special like we mentioned before you guys can switch to an auto rifle if you need anti-buried options uh you don't have to run double special but if you guys want to check it out be my guess, this is pretty good using the Ghost of the Deep Wayframe because of Restoration Ritual. It just pairs well with all the finishes we need to do to get more special ammo. And uh, yeah, it's a great Wayframe to have. Don't mind the heavy. You can rock a heavy machine gun. You can rock this. You can rock a rocket launcher, whatever is your preferred choice. And obviously think, think about it in a meta sense compared to the activities you're doing. So if you're doing something a little bit more difficult and you need better boss DPS, then de definitely uh, use that. Now, for before we go, seasonal artifact, really important. Shock and all, arc final blows while you're amplified, summon a burst of lightning that damages and jolts targets. Pretty damn good and really ridiculous. We're using lightning strikes twice because we're using arc grenades and this is going to increase the recharge rate for a short duration and then obviously arc final blows extend this benefit. Electric armor to just topple off on being amplified and gain damage resistance. Great for survivability, especially for a warlock. Thunder's retort to get more of our DPS out of a uh, chaos reach charge. Um, again, not the best boss DPS super that Warlocks have. And just generally, Warlocks don't have the best boss DPS supers in the game. So it is pretty good for most PV activities. Amped up to stay amplified longer. Pretty damn important. And then obviously, authorized mods, arc, and melees. But besides that, let's jump into some of the uh, closing thoughts and end the video on that. So this build is fun. It makes me want to main Warlock. However, I am so loyal to Titans. I don't think that they will ever come where I'm maining other classes. But to close off this season, it is fun and refreshing to do Solstice on different classes I don't spend my time on. It kind of is something a little bit of a healthy thing where I'm like enjoying the game again or more because I'm playing it a new way. And the Warlock and Hunters are different facets of their own. But this build, pretty damn fun in almost all PvE activities, except obviously what I mentioned before, those Master and Grandmaster Nightfalls. I haven't really tested it there. But if you guys want to go into a dungeon with this, go right ahead. Just be, be mindful of uh, Arc Soul shooting that chain in duality. That might break it and you might not like that. But collectively, let me know your thoughts down below on this build. Let me know what you would change if you have anything to change. Again, there is some flexibility here. You can use a different exotic, different fragments, but for the most part, this is going to be amazing and you guys will probably have way too much fun playing this game. Also, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask down below in the comment section. Be also mindful that there is a dim link. I should probably be saying this in the beginning of the video, but there'll be a dim link in the pinned comment in the description below as well to have you guys pull this build for yourself pretty quickly. I recommend you use dim, pretty helpful tool, but yeah, if you have any questions about this build drop a comment down below we can discuss but most importantly if you guys enjoyed this video and want to support it definitely be sure to hit that like button helps out the video a ton and if you guys want more content from me definitely hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified for when i do drop more content but besides that i hope you guys have a good one shannon here and i'm out